Hey, what's going on guys? This is Matt and today we're going to be doing a hardware upgrade in my basement brewery and I figured I would record and kind of show what I'm doing here just in case anyone else wants to do this in the future in their brewery. I have behind me a pretty basic 200 CFM hood vent that I've been using for around a year to a year and a half. It's been just okay. It's very underpowered. There's a lot of moisture still in the room after brew day and my whole house smells like a brewery after brew day. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be adding a very large inline fan that I have in my hand here to do a large upgrade about double the power of my hood vent. This is a very simple upgrade that anyone can do. Before we get started, I wanted to take a second to thank my channel members. So thank you so much for becoming a channel member. Anyway guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the upgrade. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna unplug this guy and then you wanna disconnect all the hosing. There should also be a fan that's installed inside here. You're gonna to wanna to unscrew that and disconnect all the electrical as well. So this just pretty much just turns into an empty box. So we went ahead and did some work here. I disconnected the HVAC hose from the top and inside I went ahead and disconnected um, the fan component in here as well. This was a little difficult to remove and it's gonna be different for everyone, but you pretty much just wanna locate every screw you can find and start unscrewing stuff until some stuff starts falling out. So for my hood vent, for my situation, this also includes a light as well. And I wanted the light to still function, so I had to just reroute a few electrical wires so the light would work. As far as what my fan looked like, this is pretty much what it looked like. It's just a large piece of plastic with a large fan in it. Again, there's a bunch of screws from the top and the bottom I had to unscrew just to drop this down. As far as parts you'll need, I'll put some links down the, in the description. I bought everything off of Amazon. You'll just need an inline fan. You'll need a reducer. In my situation, because I had a four inch HVAC setup and this is going to be a six inch HVAC setup. So I needed to get a reducer to run this to the outside vents. You're also going to need something to hook up the HVAC hose to the hood vent. And then obviously you're going to need some six inch HVAC tubing as well. You will also need to find a place to mount the inline fan. I have here just a ledge where a lot of these come with some sort of base you can screw on. You can either make a platform to screw this on. I was lucky enough to have this old ledge. Drill some pilot holes, screw this in, and then we can go ahead and mount the fan. So I wanted to kind of showcase where we're at right now with the build. So like I said, we attached the uh, mounting kit onto this ledge and the actual inline fans, the inline fans, they should just really just drop into it and click in. Then we also had some ties. So we needed to tie the six inch HVAC tubing to the uh, inside on the inline fan and then the out connection on this little connector we bought on Amazon. Um, this is just the little plastic ring we bought. We do need to attach the plastic ring to the hood vent. You can do this a few different ways. You can use some, some strong double-sided tape or you could use screws and just screw it directly into the stainless steel. I'm probably gonna opt to just use some strong sticky tape um, that is good for like 20 or 30 pounds that should be enough to hold this on. Okay, so I went ahead and applied some sticky tape to the bottom of this edge. I tried to make sure there wasn't any gaps around it. There might still be a few though, and that's just so it's not sucking in from the top of the fan. We want all that pressure to be underneath the hood. And we connected this to the already installed vent that went outside, and that was for a four inch. So we had to use that reducer. It's hard to see, but this is a six inch vent hooked up to the four inch reducer that goes outside. One thing I definitely wish I would have done in the first place is before you click in your inline fan, make sure to do this connection and this connection first, especially back here, especially if you don't have room. I don't have like any room back here. So putting this on was a really, really big pain. So if you're con uh, confined to space, once you click this in, at least for my model, I could not get this unclicked without cracking some plastic. So I didn't worry about it. I just kind of roughed it back there and tried to figure out the last thing I did, you probably don't need to do, but I figured I would just do it. Uh, there's a bunch of holes, obviously, for screws, and there was a little vent here as well. I went ahead and just taped over all the holes I could find. I just don't want any steam to leak or any of this pressure to be wasted, so I just wanted to make sure that this was a relatively solid box that the steam can come up to. But anyway, guys, that was pretty much the build. I hope you guys learned something. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And feel free to post any comments down in the comment section below if you have any questions on it. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.